Then finally, we evaluate outcomes and we look at everything we did and decide, did it help? And so that might be in the case of an intervention, a medication, or we're going to look at one where we're trying to see if our teaching was effective or if the patient learned what they were supposed to in our teaching. All right, so in this case, we've got a client who's scheduled for a total laryngectomy. And even if you don't know what a laryngectomy is, you can kind of pick apart the word here. You know, ectomy is the removal of something and the larynx is your voice box, right? So, okay, which of the following statements by this client would require follow-up? I'll have to practice using a mirror to care for my stoma. And remember, in our larynx here, this is gonna leave them with a stoma on the front. And so, yeah, if they, it's very important after they have this surgery and there's a lot of body image changes, they need to learn to care for it themselves. And so they can do that with a mirror and yes. So is that gonna require follow-up or is that an appropriate statement? All right, I see you guys answering. Everybody likes two and four as an answer. Okay, so we'll get to those in a second. But uh, remember, when the NCLEX is asking you what requires follow-up, you're looking for something that they've said wrong something that's incorrect that we need to correct them or better yet, get the healthcare provider to come correct them about, right? And update their teaching. So it is correct and we don't need to follow up that they should use a mirror to care for their stoma. All right, when I'm discharged from the hospital, I won't need the feeding tube. And this is not removal of you know, the tongue. This isn't anything where it should affect their swallowing. They should be able to eat and drink on their own and yes, y'all are right, this is an appropriate statement. So that is correct. How about this? My husband has brought me some scarves to wear loosely over the stoma. Is that okay? And so yeah, this is fine, right? As long as we're not tying like something dirty really, really tightly around the stoma, this should be fine. Again, they're gonna have a lot of body image changes and if this is what they need to do to cope and adjust to their new body image, they should be taught that that's safe to do. So yes, this is fine. All right, so that leaves us with this. After the surgery, my voice will be hoarse, but eventually return to normal. And so you guys, a lot of you selected four because, right, they will never have a normal voice. They don't have a voice box anymore. So we might be able to help them get a voice prosthetic where they can occlude the airflow and instead it goes out through their mouth and creates this kind of robotic voice, but Right, they are not going to have a normal voice even after recovery, and it's important that they understand that going into the surgery. So we would want to follow up on this one. And less than half, 41% of our users got this correct. So remember that, you guys, after laryngectomy, scarves are okay, they're going to be able to eat and drink okay, they've got to care for it in the mirror, but they will not have a normal voice. 